We're antique shopping today. I haven't been to these stores in a little while, so I'm hoping that by taking a break, we find some really good items today at Antique Trove and Scottsdale Marketplace. So these are more in Scottsdale. I will warn you, these are a little bit more pricey. However, I still like to go in here. I found some really great treasures here, even though they're more pricey antique stores sometimes you find something that is within the budget that you're willing to spend so i still come to them because of that and i've always said this but going to antique stores to me is a little bit more curated and refined so sometimes when i am hoping to find something i don't know i feel like at antique stores you can find stuff a little bit easier than thrift shopping or estate sale shopping and things that you're looking for. So I still like to come to them, even though that sometimes that they're a little bit more expensive. And I feel like I can kind of get to know different things and like learn about different things and find all the things. <laughs> anyway, I hope that makes sense. We're gonna go into Antique Trove. This is the first stop and just see what they have. I've said this before in the last time I was here, but this is where I found the ship art that is uh, above my desk. It's one of my favorite pieces ever, and I found it at this thrift or uh, antique store. So hopefully we find some good stuff. Let's get in here. Let's see what they have. I always love little boxes. $40. Okay, wait, I feel like I need to see inside of this one a little bit more. Oh, I like this a lot. This is beautiful for like shelf styling too. I love that. This one's pretty too. These little candle holders are really pretty. I like this one. It's like solid iron. And then these ones, I think, take those tiny little candles. 26. I actually like this table too. Tray is gorgeous. These are so pretty. This is stunning. A little trivet, and then look at all this silver plate, silverware. Ah, this booth is so good. I even love that like needle point. That's so pretty. Let's see how much it is. It is three fifty. Actually, that's not that bad. It's really big. Found another box. I'm always finding boxes. This one's thirty seven fifty. Oh, I think it actually comes with an old red. Oh yeah, lantern. But I love the box. <laughs> I don't know if I need a lantern. This looks interesting. Hmm. I like the shape of that. I think this little ship would look so good in an office space. Oh, $17.50. Not bad. Oh, I like that shell back there too. That's kind of cute. That artwork up there is kind of cool. Oh, it's a Monet uh, replica for forty-seven fifty. Oh yeah, definitely a replica. Oh wait a minute, hold on, hold on. This I might need twenty dollars. This is gorgeous. It's interesting. I love like ship things, and I do not like the ocean <laughs> or sailboats. I guess I sh oh, this is so good. This is absolutely stunning. I might need this. Do you see the quality of it? It's just so beautiful. This looks really pretty too. It's like um, hand blown glass wrapped in twine. Let's see how much this is. 15. That's actually really different and unique. It feels very coastal. Okay, you guys know how much I love apothecaries. This one's $10 and it still has the label on it. Oh, 
I love it. Oh, that's so, so cute. I love anything like that. It just, I don't know why I just do. I love it. Okay, look at the oh, sixty dollars Well, not today, but this old cocktail decanter or whiskey decanter or whatever it is. I like this. That's gorgeous. Also, this lamp for seventy-five. I love it. I found another marble lamp for $42. If I bring another lamp home though, Zach might. <laughs> I don't even know. He would be like, Brandy, what are you doing? $42, are you kidding? Look how beautiful. This one has so much shape to it. Oh, it's so pretty. Dang it, I don't know what to do. And that mirror, $64. This is what I mean. Like, you still have to go to, like, the spendy stores because you can find good deals in there. This is a gorgeous mirror for $62. And I like that it's, like, fading. And the mirror is actually looks like it has some patina on it. But I love that. And also this buffet, $345. Gorgeous. I actually did not notice this right away. Like, look at the knobs. Oh, this is so pretty. That's a great price, too. To be honest, I would probably get rid of the top piece and just keep the bottom piece. Oh, I love that. This vendor has great furniture. This little table right here, $345. But what would you use it for? It's so short. And then look. 135. This is like a little. Do they call these apothecary? Oh my gosh, I love this. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like all these little drawers. And then I showed you this hutch. But this piece here. Hold on, let me move this little sled. This piece is gorgeous. $2.45. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, I want it. I want it. I want this. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this. It's like that dark, dark brown. Absolutely stunning. I just don't know what to use this table for. It's like not quite low enough for a coffee table, but not high enough for any other table. So I have no idea. It like goes up to like my mid thigh. And then that's, oh my gosh, I love, I love this so much. And another marble mirror. I swear once I find something, I find them everywhere. This one's 125. Beautiful. I love the detail on that one as well. I love these chairs. $59. I love these. I think it's $59 each. Yeah. Oh gosh. These are gorgeous. I like this light fixture. $129. That's so pretty. Very different. I'm noticing a ton of these needlepoint art pieces and like lots of different booths. I'm not sure. What are your thoughts? Do you like these? Kind of, I kind of like them. Definitely for a specific project or room. I don't know that they totally go with my style, but I can see them in like some of my friends' houses and stuff. They're kind of cool. Look at this massive magnifying glass. It's $30. It's huge. Oh my gosh. How cool. These bar stools are gorgeous. $59 each. They are like super heavy with this iron and then the rattan. Oh, I gotta show you both of these. Look how beautiful. But I just don't know if they would like hold up, you know? <laughs> so I'm a little bit afraid, but they sure are beautiful. This booth has a couple of super old baskets. This one's even patched up. That's kind of cool. 
$75. And then this dope over 199 It's like flat. Oops, sorry. Oh, I like that. And then this one's pretty too. This one's $10. Ooh, look at these too. Those are gorgeous. This doble though. I feel like I saw that last time. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. This rattan little table is really pretty. I can't find a price on it, of course. I feel like that's always my luck. But for some reason, I'm really drawn to it. I think it's really pretty. I'm really into rattan right now. And then look at this like kids wicker chair. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I think it's 49. Let me look again. Yeah, that's adorable. We finished up at Antique Trove. I did find one little piece that I'll share with you guys when I get home. I found, okay, I found a lot of different things that really caught my attention. A lot of furniture, again, I find so much furniture that I wish I could buy and I wish I had space for, but I don't, so that's all right. However, I know that it's there and hopefully, you know, if I find a spot for it, I go back. Hopefully it's still there, but we're going to go into Scottsdale Marketplace, which is probably the higher, there's one other one, Antique Gatherings, that both are like a higher end antique store. I feel like I like to shop at like the low end and the high end. I like them all. I like the thrift store and I like the fancy store. Also, sorry, we're on the main road. Anyway, this is a really good one. It's absolutely beautiful, and I haven't been here in a while, so I'm excited to go in and see what they have. They also carry new items and old items, which sometimes I like because I feel like it's a good way to see how vintage items would fit in your home. You can kind of see it mixed with new pieces, especially if you're new to vintage and antique shopping. And also, sometimes I like to just go in and look and maybe not buy anything. So let's get in here. Let's see what's new at Scottsdale Marketplace. These magnifying glass with this wood handle. These are beautiful. $59.98. This mini alabaster and brass lamp. It's $2.98. So out of my price range right now, but oh my gosh, is it stunning. These are $500 each. I told you it's a little more bougie, but it's so fun to look. These candle holders, absolutely stunning. So pretty. The little mini light comes in this marble too. Oh my gosh, these are so good. And then look at this box. So pretty. Okay, these little eggs would have been really cute for Easter, but... I'm interested in these black marble little bowls, 29. Mm, I might need one of these. I don't have a black one. And you guys know I love black for decor. I just really, it's so beautiful to me. And then this vendor has tons of little pots. Oh, they have a tiny one. Okay, I might need the tiny, 22. Hmm. Such good stuff. I kind of like these decorative balls. I haven't seen anything like this. $12. Wait, these are really cool. I like these. How pretty. I like the shape of these beads too. Very different. I think I have these exact same ones at home, but these are really cool too. This section has always spoke to me and it's still speaking to me. There's such good stuff. 
in this little section as Costel Marketplace. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. I love this brass chandelier. It's $3.95. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I like that. How stunning. I believe I've shared this lamp with you before, but this beautiful clay like olive jug lamp, it's on sale for $1.75 right now. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love that. I love this bamboo stand for outside. This would be amazing. It's $3.25. I just, I love it. This table looks beautiful. $8,000. Okay. You know what? You just have to make sure you come here with a big budget. But everything here is so beautiful. I mean, like, just very, just the highest quality. It's just absolutely stunning. This clay pot is massive. It's 700, but it's huge. I mean, huge. I love this pot. It's 179. It's kind of, it's a, it's a decent price, decent price for the size, I think, compared to other ones I've seen, but this one's so beautiful. This cabinet is beautiful. It is for almost $5,000, but it's, oh my gosh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it really is massive. I mean, it's super, super, super tall. Mmm, this table's pretty too. So I just finished up at Scottsdale Marketplace. I got one little item. I got one little item at Antique Trove and then one little item here. I tried to get as much footage as I possibly could at Scottsdale Marketplace, but a lot of it felt very similar in the way everything's different, but it was all just like very fancy, which I loved looking at. It was so beautiful such beautiful items but definitely a looking shopping trip even if somewhere feels like quite expensive you never know if something's gonna be marked down or they're having a sale on a specific booth or it could be you know something that you've been looking for in it's in your price range or you're willing to splurge on. So always go to all of the stores. Now I will say Antique Trove is definitely more like vintage and then Scottsdale Marketplace is vintage, like high-end antiques and vintage and like a design studio vibe, if that makes sense. So let me get into what I got. I don't know what it is about sailboats and ships that I love but I love them. I just find myself super drawn to them for some reason. So I got this horn ship or sailboat. Is that not so beautiful? Okay, I was trying to get this um, string off. Let me see if I can get it off. Oh my gosh, I loved this. I just thought it was just so different than anything I've seen and I had to have it. So this is the first piece I got. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. Oh. On like a bookshelf or even the bar it just kind of reminds me of so many different trips that we've taken 
and I just, I had to have this. Now this one I believe was on sale for $16, which for a cute, unique piece like this, I thought was well worth it. So beautiful. And then from Scottsdale Marketplace, I got another limestone bowl, but this one is in this like dark charcoal. And the ones I have at home are more like of a lighter gray. So I knew I had to have this. I ended up getting the bigger one. I think I did film me showing both of them. I got the bigger one because it was just a couple dollars more. And I figured it was a little bit, a little more substantial for the price. So this one was 29. These are so I, I'm always grabbing for little dishes like this. So I've purchased some marble ones from Amazon and I have a couple limestone ones. I love these just on a stack of books. You could put a candle in here. You could put a bar of soap in here. You could put your jewelry in here. You could do so many different things in these little catch-all bowls. I just, I love these. I wanted to get some more, but I, I do feel like they were a little bit of a splurge for what they are. So we'll just get one here and there and build our collection. So I think this is my fourth one. And I always say having a collection of things Things is really nice because it's gonna thread from each room so your home your there's some cars that have some loud engines going by so what's really nice about building a collection is your home's gonna feel cohesive because you might have one of these bowls in your living room then there might be one on the nightstand in the guest bedroom the nightstand in your bedroom the guest bathroom the kitchen wherever it's just really nice to have a collection and i have found that that has been game changer when it comes to design and how your spaces flow from room to room and just kind of feel cohesive. So anyway, I'm super excited about my just couple of little purchases. I love them. I think that they are just so so beautiful and so me. I hope that you enjoyed today's shop with me. Let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together